Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Played Up. We are on the 0.20.1B 8Z or 828C update patch. It was just released today is Tuesday, July 5th evening around 10 o'clock Eastern Time. So the patch is quite live from when the recording happened. You guys are likely watching this on July 6th, which will be Wednesday. Anyway, one of the big things that was added is there was a new dish, and the new dish is hot dogs. And it's basically hot dogs, a bun, and then there's two condiment cards, which is ketchup and mustard. And I'm not going to go into a big detail about what's all added in the 0.20.1B um, patch. I'll do that in a separate video. But as you see here, there's numbers below the maps, and these are seeds. And this is where you can enter a seed, which basically gives you the same cards per run that you had in. Like, so if we do this to franchise, we like the cards that we get. We could input this seed. So anytime we do hot dogs again, regardless of the map, we will get the same cards again. Like the same cards at day 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. So we're going to rock and roll. I haven't played this map yet. Hot dogs are fresh. I played for about two minutes to understand how it works. If you look up here in the uh, workshop, you can see there's the hot dogs in the, in the freezer, the refrigerator, and then you have the buns. They work the same way as the hamburgers. You cook them, you, you bun them, and then you plate them. So we're going to get ready. We're not going to take anything. You know how I roll here. Let's get in here. We're doing a, you know, diner style map. That's kind of my go-to map. Now, again, some of the other maps will give you a lot more space. One update with the booking desk here is that you will get a minimum of three coins per person that you get, which is, I find, a little OP in my opinion. I don't know. Uh, before, it used to be a minimum of one last patch, and even that I thought was a little bit kind of OP, but hey, it's not up to me. So let's set up our kitchen. This is our my typical diner-style map. The way I always set up the diner-style maps, when, when it has to do with, cooking something like this, of course. We can actually do it like this. The bin can go over here. The hot dogs, now as much as I'd love to see this. Now, one thing it says here is, is if you pick up an item that you want to get rid of, like the refrigerator, it says impossible menu. Selling these appliances will prevent, well, you don't sell them, you get rid of them, will prevent you from making something on your menu. So you can't actually do that. It's just a pop-up that's new that tells you that. Much as I love having these facing me, you gotta have it this way so you can do the little electric slide that I like doing. Put the phone up here, rolls are gonna sit here, or the buns, excuse me, like that. And if you look at the recipe card, it basically says cook hot dog and place in button. The condiments come in as condiment cards, which we'll likely get later on. But uh, we have six customers. We have a whole bunch of countertops here. So let's just get rock and rolling. Call a bunch of people. And as you see, there's a minimum of three coins. Which I'm not a huge fan of that, honestly, myself. But and it's just because it's, it's almost too easy. Because I got, I got seven for a hot dog. I got seven. Let's have to move this down a bit. I got seven coins for a hot dog, six coins for a hot dog. It's, it's a little kind of, no, no, no. Seems a little much to me. But again, what do I know? I'm just giving my opinion, of course, for all of this. There's nothing set in stone. If you want to read the patch notes, go to the Discord. But we're just going to rock and roll here. It is nighttime, so the patience is going to wear down. Going to go like that. This here. This isn't a speed run, but you can kind of do these pretty quickly. I should move these down another slot. And there we go. And that's the day, day one. And if you see in the upper right hand corner, up here where my mouse is, this is the seed for this particular run. So it means anytime I do this seed, these are the cards that I'll get if I do hot dogs, basically. So we get our typical blueprint counter. Combiners are good because you could combine the hot dog bowl, run, uh, hot dog bun into this. But we're going to do our typical. Take this. Ooh, a prep station, though. That is nice. And as you see, we have a lot more money. We ended up with 50 coins, which is usually unheard of after day one. I th uh, The thing here is, hmm, in the patch notes, I don't know if you could put a whole burger or a whole, um, uh, what is it called, a whole hot dog prepped into this. So what we're going to do is I think I will end up using it a little bit. Um, yeah, I will, because I can start aut automating some of the stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this, and what we're going to do is we're just going to test it. We're going to test it right now on the fly, oops, as we go. 
Um, we're actually not even going to go to practice mode because it doesn't really change anything. I uh, can't buy another table. We'll do our standard stuff here. Let's see if that works. Because pizza you can do now. Oh, that is genius. That is genius to prep these. Because what you could do is you could have a combiner feeding into these things, which is awesome, by the way. And you can also put the raw, the raw hot dog in this as well. All right, got that, that, this, this. You got this one. Bind it up. Oops, I plated that one. I shouldn't have plated it, but that's okay. This is ready to go. Come on. Now, with the with the updated patch, which was patch 19, there was something changed where the players will no longer sit. We can no longer take the player's order if they're not sitting at the table. Because before, things used to be so backed up where you could you could literally um, clean the last plate and the person's walking in and you could feed them and it would count. You can't do that now. So it makes it a little bit trickier to do large group amounts because of you have to have that weight factor. What do we got here? So we have research desk. Oh, we can't afford it yet. Now the dining table is interesting. I don't think we need it quite yet. To be honest with you, I think we're going to keep on rolling. Well, you know what? Ah, uh, I don't know. Do you want the table already? Because we're going to get condiments after today. Because I'm just guessing we are because they're what's new. So I'm assuming you're going to get the ketchup and the mustard together. Um, or the ketchup and mustard condiment. Um, I think we're just going to... Uh, you know what? Um, let's just keep... You know what? Let's buy it. Let's buy it. Why not, right? Let's buy it. Again, this is a long walk for this map because you have the extended, this is in this map, you have three tiles where the counters are. The other ones you have two and it ends here. So it makes the running a little bit less because you could actually, you know what, I could make the running less by doing this. I can corner that perfectly like that. Let's turn the knobs in as it would be in a real kitchen setting. And um, let's just, let's uh, K through. Seven groups, not a big deal again. Oh, one other thing that was changed, which I will show you guys in a second here, is the um, the way that the way that the groups are laid out. It gives you an, an exact amount of people now, not groups. So I will show you that. I believe that's how it was changed. Another single. Always get the singles out first. The targeting is a bit wonky, if I'm honest here, too. All right, get you guys served, no problem. Hot dog on, let's do some research. You see, I'm getting, you're getting a minimum of three coins, plus whatever the, the bonus is for whatever, I guess, level you're at or something like that. All right, so this is awesome that you can get, you can put the frozen burgers or excuse me, I bet you the, hot, the completed hot dogs, I bet you could do that with burgers now, and I bet you could also do that with pizza. Well, I bet, I know you can, with pizza. And those are the things that before you couldn't do, and also I believe pies. All right, so we have discount. Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go money. Okay, so what this does now, you see where it says hot dog, mustard, it has minus 10% before it gave you a number, and that was a number based on not a number of groups, but a number of groupings of groups. But here it gives you a solid 10%, which means you're gonna get 10% less. So that number says number 10 is gonna go down to number nine because well, actually it went down to eight, which is interesting because 10% of 10 um, is one. But anyway, you see where it says group sizes one to two and it says expected customers. Oh, here it says customers might ask for mustard while eating. Place the mustard on their table. If they, so it means you can't put mustard on the hot dog. You have to place it on the actual table. And this is actually fine because we're going to take, oh, it's so cute. And you only have three of them because they are reusable. I think we're going to put the mustard right there. Swap this out here. Put this here. Uh, we can, eh, I, I, oh, you get stuck on it anyway. That's interesting. I don't like that you get stuck on that. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put the mustard here. So I won't get stuck on it that way because you only have three bottles. We granted we only have two tables, which should be no problem. Should, can we afford, ooh, conveyor. Oh, we're getting all the good stuff. We're getting all the good stuff. So the question is, how do we want to do this? Do you want to do this or do you want to start right away going for, you know what, I think I'm going to buy the conveyor belt because it, mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually be useful or we should uh, try to get a blueprint cabin. We're at day four, right? We're at day four already, eight, eight customers. 
So group sizes of one to two. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean how many groups you're going to have now. It's going to be how many customers, which is great because you know I'm going to have to make eight hot dogs. And then we'll keep on running. So I'm going to do my research. I might kick myself and I'll take the conveyor belt, but it is very early for that yet. All right. And we got a... Ah, uh, we got a, blue, a discount desk, which is not what we wanted. Now, see if they want mustard. They do, see? So it gives you another timer because you want to put mustard on the table. You pick it up, you put it back. It, it's pretty simple, um, you know, at the end of the day. Do that. Let's just make a bunch of hot dogs, call some people. We can call everybody. Get a little bit of extra money is, is always helpful. We should be, yeah, we should be good now. People are going to wait outside. This can go here, this can go here, tick that over, tick this over. I always put the put it on their plate anyway. Because what's gonna happen is the plates, the dirty plates won't show up until you put the mustard back, and then of course they show up. And that should be that. Alright, so that was we should have one more customer after today. Because we had a single. We had a single in there, so that should mean we get one more. Yeah, I guess not, because this expected groups. Which should be a an exact amount, honestly. But now I'm kicking myself about the research desk because we got the discount desk, which means we have to cycle it through two more times. See how they wanted the, the mustard icon? Oh, this one wants interesting. So you can't just pop it and put it back. Interesting way of how that's done. Let's go down here to day four. Let's keep on rolling. We're doing quite well so far. Ooh, so see splitters are not. Oh my God, another, you know what? Ah, oh, man, because I already lost out on one. I think I'm going to do something a bit different. And you might say, why are you doing that? That's not right. Splitters are not what you need. We need we need combiners. Because we have to wait two more days to get a blueprint desk. And I think if we get a conveyor belt, we can automate um, this per portion of this. Dining tables are fine. There's no issue there. Let's keep on rolling. Nine customers. Actually, what I didn't, didn't want to do that. I want to get to, I'll do it at the end of the day. It's not a big deal. Got a couple singles, singles ready to mingle. You're gonna want mustard. And the mustard comes in afterwards, which is interesting. See, like they sit down to eat it and now they want mustard. Pop it down, pick it back up, good to go. So that's two customers. Now the conveyor belt will be helpful eventually, or the grabber. Um, for right now, not exactly, but it will be. So, oops, I'm going. Going with it, that is going to be helpful. And there's no rush. Now, having the having this usable where you get at least three coins, it's definitely, um, come on. It definitely has more of an appeal to using it now, in my opinion. Got a group there. Got a group here. They're going to want mustard, I'm sure. Yep, you hear a ding across. Pick the mustard up. They actually wanted two. So you got double off of that. No, you didn't. Sorry, that was only 12. I'm thinking you got double double coins. Definitely did not. And call the last group in. I think that actually was the last group. So let's do our research. Oh, we got, okay, we got one more coming in. It's all good. It's a double two. Okay. Got this on. There's one. Got this one on two. And I'm just going to automatically put the mustard there because it's the last group anyway. And it doesn't matter, so to speak. You can't put the mustard on first, though. That's the only kind of issue. Pick this up, place it here. That's the day done. All right, now we can start putting burgers. This is where we start needing more more conveyor belts. All right, we got our first card, our deco card. I honestly don't care about any of these, so we're going to go that. We're going to let it roll. Uh, if anything, we'll put some carpeting out here, I guess. That's about all we're going to do. Sorry, so it is deco day. As oh, Look at all the plants. My gosh. We didn't even get three. three uh, you want to do that? Or do you want to put it back to this? I think that's better. Um, we'll do the yellow walls because why not? And what we'll do out here is let's put down the green walls. for our, That looks nothing matches at all. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to buy the grabber. Uh, I could upgrade to a smart grabber, but I don't think that's necessary. So what I'm going to do is... Let's get the bin out of here. I don't think I'm going to need the bin. The phone can go here. This can go here. This can go here. Actually, you know what? I just want to... Uh, no, this is okay. So I can just feed this hot dogs. 
Uh, the buns are a bit, you know what, I should just put the buns here. Because I'm not using the other counter spaces. Can I get stuck on that? I can, so you gotta turn it this way. Oh, we have this flooring. Nah, I like the, like the, I think this is fine. There's nothing to save, so I guess we'll save. Well, the thing is that we only have, we have a 20, and we have a 20, and then we have a, a rug, which is a 60. We have all these plants, though. I'm able to save a plant just to save something. I don't know. Just gonna load these up with hot dogs. Now, if we have a safety hob here, well, then obviously that'd be the ticket, but we don't, so. Might as well just load it up real good. Call some people in. Alrighty, let's pick that up. Served. That's it. Serve, serve. You guys want mustard, of course. Oh, I, w I didn't look to see what the group count was. Do you want mustard? No mustard for you, which is fine. Pick that back up. Put this back down. Yeah, having a safety hob with another conveyor belt and having uh, combiners and stuff. We'll, we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. Now, we might not get to it that easily here. Um, oops, single group, of course. This is going to be... Ooh, they want some mustard. See, pick it up. Put it back down. Good to go. Like that, that, that. Good to go. They're going to want mustard. See how they have the icon up there? I, th I think there'll be two icons if they both would want it. Let's get this cleaned up. See if we can get that mess clean with the water splash. There it is. Good, good. And do that. Let's get a couple hot dogs going. Now, the hob does obviously give a mess. Let's get one more because I think we only have one more. One more table. Automatically put that on. You can hear it. You can hear the ding if that's if they want the mustard. You put this one here. You can hear it. Nope, no ding. Okay, fair enough. It's interesting that they only give you three. So I wonder what happens if you have like four tables or four. I mean, you could place it. I should say that. You can place it and you can put it right back down. So I think that kind of answers the question there. If they want it, six coins. And then you hear another ding. And that as soon as you hear the ding, like, like the bell noise, you can pick it right back up. All right, got a lot of coins. We got another card today. I wonder if it's going to give us the ketchup because... I thought it was mixed. Like I thought you got ketchup and mustard. All right, so this is another 10% reduction. So that should take our groups down theoretically 1.4 customers. So we should go down to 12 or 11, 12. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, customers ask for, so it's the same thing. I don't think they can take ketchup and mustard. Splitter, see, we don't need a splitter. We need like a combiner. This is gonna be the ketchup. So I think we'll put the ketchup um, here, I guess. Can I get stuck on that? No, you can't. Okay, you can't get stuck on that. It looks a little wonky, though. Maybe we'll just put them both uh, like that, maybe. Oh, sorry, like that, and then just get rid of... Ah. Yeah, let's just get rid of this table. It's not, I'm not really using it at all. So what? I think we want to upgrade the hob. So the plant, I think that... I mean, we have so much money. We could just buy the plant. It, it, it can't, it's not going to hurt. Uh, dining table, you don't need another table. Messes aren't really a big issue right there because uh, you don't have increased messes. So there's the generic amount of messes. The joint. So I think if we get a safety hob, we'll switch this out to have this feeding into this and then we can just kind of plate them because that way the, the, the hot dogs will always be being made. This is kind of cool. I do like how they look this way though, honestly, but... I don't know. We'll see if we can run it like that because I, I hate getting stuck on things. And being, oh yeah, you still get stuck on it, don't you? Here you don't. Okay, fair enough. Uh, twelve customers again. Do some of that. Let's get some research done. Again, twelve customers, so you can kind of keep track of how many you have. Ah, uh, safety hob. That's what we want. That to that. Load these up. That to that to that. Now are they gonna want ketchup or mustard? Let's see what they want. Ketchup, mustard. Pick it up. Is that one going to want ketchup? Ooh, wow. That is... Okay. Let's see. If that one has mustard, can you put a ketchup on it? You can't. Okay, wow. That's tricky then. That's going to really slow things down. That is for sure going to slow things down. Because they could want one or the other, and you have to wait. Okay, that one didn't want anything. Interesting. It almost, it almost gives you like another, pro, uh, another thinking bar. Wow, that's kind of crazy. I mean, it's cool. It's, very, it's a very neat concept. I like it. There's no way to really automate that, though. I, I wonder if they're if he's gonna if the if the developer is gonna add condiments for things like hamburgers because that would make sense, right? A burger with with um 
So you actually have to wait here. Catch it for this one. Ding, pick it up. And then, is that it? Okay. That will, yeah, all right. So we're, we're, all right, we're good. We're good. We're good here. Another grabber would be great right about now because then we could fully automate the, the hamburger or the, I keep saying hamburgers, the hot dogs. I love the little icon, like the little sausage icon. What are you guys going to want? See, so it reset that and they're going to want mustard? No, nothing. Okay. So that one didn't reset. I think if they actually want something, it'll reset. So a couple of these on here. Let's do a little bit of this. After today, we can have the hot dog part fully automated, which is going to be good. Let's see if they... Are they going to give you another icon? Alright, that guy didn't want anything. Fair enough. Fair enough. I want to see if I can duplicate what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Let's look at that. We got six coins. What the heck? Why are we getting six? It's such a... It's so ridiculous. Are we all double groups? They are. So we're going to chill out a little bit here. Alright, you guys are here. You are here. What do you guys want? No condiments. Interesting. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, you want a mustard? Place it so it dings, pick it back up. This one's gonna, oh, this one also wants mustard, okay. So I guess I should just leave the mustard there until they're done. I should be the last one of the day, so we don't need to do any cleanup. Look at these messes down here, they're getting pretty intense. Already day eight complete. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it an episode here. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. Next episode, we're gonna load up day eight. We're gonna reset up or set up a different uh, I can hit and click over on this. I'm not going to open these envelopes. What we're going to do is we're going to buy this, swap this around so that these are always making hot dogs, and then we can grab them. We don't, won't really be using this that much anymore, um, but we'll still be using it. We might swap things around a bit to grab the buns and plate it, but you know what? We'll end it here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's open. We have five. Let's open two. Hob, not bad. Well, no good. That one. Okay, so the other three I'm going to leave until next episode. Next episode, day nine. After day nine, we get another card. Now, we have the hot dog, or we have the hot dog, which is new. We have the mustard con mustard card condiment, which isn't terrible, actually. You just have to remember to put it down. And you actually have also have the ketchup, which is the same thing. And they won't have ketchup and mustard at the same time. You have to place one, pick it up, and then if the other one's ketchup, you then place the ketchup. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all. Part two, hot dog run.